Good morning, water signs. Thank you so much for joining me this morning at Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to do your daily advice, oracle card messages for today. We're going to use the Oceana Tarot by Jane Wallace, Archangel Michael by Doreen Virtue. Messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue. For the love advice for the day, Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. And these are Chakra Oracle Wisdom Cards. So once a week on Sunday, I will be pulling one of these for you guys for weekly advice. Okay, water signs. I've already prayed over the cards. I'm just going to shuffle a couple more times. Let's see what spirit has for the water signs this morning. Ten of Pentacles, luck, completion, maybe a new job, a raise, a bonus at work. Let's see what Archangel Michael has to say. Honor and trust your feelings. So for some of you, this could be a new relationship. Brings you happiness. Trust your feelings. She is the angel of marriage. Beautiful water signs. Let's see what the love portion says. Rest and reconsider. Weekly advice card.
Okay. So the Ten of Pentacles. It's all about good luck, good fortune, money coming in, maybe a new job, new raise, new relationship. Tens are like aces, new beginnings. End of a cycle, beginning of a new. Beautiful card. Could be an inheritance. Could be that somebody just gives you money. I need to turn on the air in here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm like dying. Okay. Um, new relationship. Possibilities are endless with this card, really. Okay, and then we have by Archangel Michael, honor and trust your feelings. So, with this card, Archangel Michael does urge you to look inward and listen. This card is a sign that your feelings are accurately honored to the truth. Some of these feelings may be uncomfortable to face. Yet, you know, they're with you. You know, for an important reason. If you're conflicted, sit down with a pen and paper. Write down your feelings. Some of the possible meanings with this card are um, it's time to admit that you're unhappy in a certain situation and to take appropriate, you know, action. For some of you, you know, someone could be trying to talk to you, you know, and get you to open up. You know, if it has to do with this new relationship, which I feel like it is. You know, to have success, you know, completion, love, contentment, passion. You, you do need to trust your feelings. Open up. Speak your truth. Speak how you feel. Then we have the marriage card. I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. So some of you water signs could be getting married. I think you want this. You guys, some of you guys just might be Thinking, thinking too much, you know, water signs have a tendency to overthink things. So what this angel is saying is that you have called upon God to help in the area of marriage. This angel, this angel is here to help you with a fulfilling marriage. God and this angel desire to answer your prayers without delay.
the first thing that this angel is helping you with is healing, you know, any past wounds related to marriage. You know, maybe some of you have been married before, were married before. You know, it might not have been such a blissful marriage. And now this time, you're just, you want to do it. Because the Ten of Pentacles tells me so. But you're just thinking too much. So maybe that's why we have from the psychic Tarot of the Heart, rest and reconsider. Some of you could be reconsidering this relationship, this marriage. You're unsure, undecided. But sometimes the struggle to create and meant, and meant, ugh, cannot speak this morning and maintain harmonious and fulfilling relationships just seem like too much work with this card. You know, you put forth your best, you know, your best effort. You know, you give and you share. But yet there are still issues to be dealt with. You're tired. And at times you just want to give up. Throw in the towel. This, the message of this card is to persevere. You may have been disappointed or hurt in the past. But past sorrows, past sorrows do make you stronger. Even if it doesn't feel that way at the moment. You know, past sorrows do bring you to a more grounded place. If, you know, planning, planning this wedding could be extremely hectic. And you're tired, need rest. Your advice card for the week is gratitude. So with this card, look at the power of gratitude to fill you with love. to allow yourself to, you know, live at the level of extraordinary gratitude. Love can come from unexpected sources with this card. Some of us were born into, you know, challenging families. This fable is a reminder that someone somewhere loves you. You know, 
even before you were born. You know, with this card, you know, it's just like, I'm so glad you're in my life with this card. I'm glad you're in my life. I believe that, you know, for some of you, you are grateful for that person that's in your life. Some of you water signs definitely have trust issues. You have a hard time opening your feeling, opening up and sharing your feelings. Speak your truth. That is the message with this whole reading. Speak your truth. Be honest with your feelings. And, and whatever road you choose will lead to happiness, luck, success. There is success in this situation. Whatever this situation is for you. The message here is trust and open up. Speak your truth. Be grateful for what you do have. Rest comes out a lot for my water signs. It just does, even. Guys are always thinking, always thinking. You guys are just like earth signs. It's probably why earth signs and water signs, as far as relationships, they're a, they're, they're a power, they're a power team. Okay, water signs, that is all I have for you guys this morning. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I want to thank you guys for joining me this morning. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.